Commander Shepard, I understand you've helped resolve the situation with the Geth. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. You ended a war three centuries in the making. I had a lot of help. We have isolated pockets of remaining Geth. As best we can tell, they are Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they are just a tiny fragment of the full Geth fleet. You've done the impossible, Commander. And I may be able to provide help of my own. I've received information from my government. It's too sensitive to discuss over an unsecured channel. What if I come to the Citadel? Yes, that would be best, Commander. I'll be waiting for you in Counselor Udina's office. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander, something on your mind? If I may, Admiral, I have a personal question. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? Because you're the only soldier in this whole damn Navy who knows how to kill Reapers. I admit I've had some practice, even success, but does that qualify me for this? Your dossier says it does, Commander. You were trapped on a coos all those years ago, and you were the only one to make it out alive. Back then I saw more than just a soldier in the making. And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. You can pay a soldier to fire a gun, you can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill, but you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. When you went up against Sovereign, there was no good reason to believe you'd win. But your crew didn't seem to care, they went along anyway. Your trip through the Omega-4 relay? That was a suicide mission, if there ever was one. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. Where we're taking them is liable to get pretty hairy, and I know you're the one who will get us to the other side. Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? Well, it's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle you flew, Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away, and I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. I hope that if Tally could see reason, then the rest of the Quarians might listen too. I had hoped my cooperation with Tally, along with Legions, would help her question her socialized prejudice. Yeah, kinda hard to dehumanize someone who's right there guarding your back. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah, so? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Get Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. 
These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Corians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory, but it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor, don't ask them. Hello, Shepard. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious, just <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Commander?
gotta say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. It sounded like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, glad you were able to get some help from Captain Riley's team. Sometimes I forget we aren't all alone in this war. Ma'am. I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board, and we can finally focus on the Reapers. But I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Nothing ever is. One step at a time, I guess. Three hundred years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. Another Reaper has died. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these Quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. Shepard? Nothing to report. Commander. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... Helping. Setting up housing. Adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. Isn't that close to what happened before the Geth rebelled last time? Yes, but this time, the Geth and the Quarians have chosen it. That's not to say there aren't issues. What if no Geth wants to augment Admiral Geralt because of his role in the war? And who decides on something that affects the suit? But as problems go, I'll take them over what we had. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. gunpoint. Now, he's disappeared. We give you his history, his enemies, and his name. Kai Lang. How long before he's caught? The Council's best guess, here in the battle space.
Commander, I'm doing a segment on the Gethquarian War. It should take maybe an hour. Can we talk in your cabin? Impressed you got those two groups together. We'll see how long the peace lasts. Commander? Peace between the Geth and Quarians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, right. You managed that one too. Now you're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. Not right now. Another Reaper gone, and... Peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's and now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There are still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day.
the Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Perhaps we can talk later. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not gonna turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Mm -hmm. 